Welcome to Oceans of Possibilities Summer Reading for the week of June 26, 2022, Preschool Group, Part 1. Jules vs. the Ocean by Jesse Seema. Jules is going to make the biggest, fanciest, most excellent castle that has ever been built. Her sister will be so impressed. Maybe the ocean will help. Splash! Nope. That's okay. Jules will build an even bigger, fancier, more excellent castle all by herself. Her sister will be so impressed. Slosh! Jules thinks the ocean might be out to get her. Her sister assures her this happens to everyone. If Jules wants to make the biggest, fanciest, most excellent castle, she will need to keep an eye on the ocean. Slap! Not today, ocean. Enough is enough. Jules will not be pushed around. She will stand her ground. Wait, where are her feet? It's a trap! No! Bucket! How is Jules supposed to build the biggest, fanciest, most excellent castle now? With no bucket and no hope. Her sister says the ocean isn't doing this on purpose. Maybe she's right. And who needs a bucket? Jules cannot believe it. Her sister is so impressed. This is definitely the biggest, fanciest, most excellent, uh-oh. Crash. That was most excellent. They tell their mom all about the castle and how the ocean wanted to smash it. Mom assures them that happens to everyone. Mom explains how the ocean's waves are controlled by lots of things. Mostly the moon. Next time, Jules and her sister will have to keep an eye on the moon. The end. Okay, so we're going to paint with watercolors and um, put salt on them afterwards to see what happens. So your craft go kit will include this bag of salt. And we'll take that off carefully. There's the staple. So you have a little baggie of salt, which we'll put aside for now, and a big piece of watercolor paper. I'm going to fold it backwards just to get the crease out a bit. And what you'll need is some watercolor paints. I've got this big set here. You'll need a paintbrush and water. So I have that in this little cup. Now all you're gonna do is go ahead and paint yourself um, anything you'd like. I'm gonna make an ocean scene, I think. We'll go ahead and put some sand. See how it runs together. over to the side. Make sure you use nice and a lot of water. 
for your watercolors so that it spreads nicely. see what I'm doing here but um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and then I will come back and show you how to put the salt okay, on so this is my painting and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more water on it um, just because we want it to be oh I kind of like that I was all so much like that now we're just gonna take the salt Sprinkle it all over the picture with our little hands. And you can already see some of it breaking up. Um, we're just going to leave this here. That gave you way more salt than you'll need. Don't worry about that. Um, we just kind of flick it a little bit. to leave this dry and once it's all dry we'll see what it looks like now that it's dry we have the salt all over this um, we're gonna have to brush it off in the garbage so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now you'll be able to hear me doing this with this <laughs> So this is what it looks like here, here's the overall look. But close up, you can see little dots um, where the water displaced when it started to dissolve in with the salt. So that's what you wanna get. So um, apparently the better you do it, the better. So um, maybe you'll want to do um, a little bit of salt as you finish each part of it since it's a big piece of paper but either way it turns out pretty nice